All right, so last week you saw us do the exterior. Now it's time to roll into the interior. Starting with ripping out these seats, we're gonna get them broke down and we're going to install our cat skin leather skins on them. And then we're gonna add some subtle touches to the interior, kind of we're gonna do what a Rolls Royce headliner would look like with the stars in it, but it'll have something special for them in it. And then we're also gonna do a subwoofer box. Fury's gonna stop by with these awesome trucks, give us a little bit of inspiration for our last final touches and hopefully y'all enjoy. This shop, he does a bunch of power coating in here, builds a bunch of any level trucks, does all kinds of craziness. And we're gonna get our American forces, have make them have some color, and basically gonna do it for it. So let's get that. I wanna introduce you guys. Well, you haven't met Zach, have you? No. So this is Zach. Hi, man. Beloved. Austin. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you, man. How you doing? I'm Keeper. Austin, nice, nice to meet you. you. And then y'all know Lacey. So we are gonna be powder coating the backs and windows of these American Forces and leaving the face polished. So typically with powder coating, we wanna prep with sandblasting, but since these are polished, we're not gonna do that. So we're actually gonna chemically prep the back, that way it etches the metal ever so slightly, and then we'll have better adhesion. Is that how you pronounce that word? Adhesion. <laughs> we will have better adhesion for the powder. So we're gonna do that, and for those of you who aren't familiar with powder coat, it's basically like paint, but it is a powder and it is electromagnetically charged to the part. So we will be spraying it and then put it in the oven for cure time. And then we'll it the wheels back from powder coating yesterday and now we got to go since it's Friday we can get them mounted up here over at Moon Shadow and so they got a cool machine that can mount these big 40 inch wheels with on the 24 inch rims so and they got a cool machine that can do that for us so we're about to go and take them in check this place out
cool thing that Richard might want to get, but we're gonna go ask first. Ta-da. So that's a wrap. Time to get these back to the shop, get them mounted, and it's good to go. So Kenny just got back from getting these wheels all mounted up down the street. Um, I went ahead and put the copper base anti-seize lubricant all over it, the studs, so that way we can ensure just uh, proper torque, and we can also ensure that they're not gonna get rusted on there or stuck or anything like that. Took care of every problem we could, thanks to Gorilla Pro and HB4. So I kind of want to just explain to you what's going on back here because there's a whole lot of madness for these wheels. We put a two inch spacer in the rear and behind it. Then we put the wheel adapter because we need the two inches to make sure we don't rub on the coil over. And then we put the adapter and then we put a wheel and then we put another spacer so we don't create hot spots on these tires. And then we put the other wheel on and that also gives us our width and makes sure we have clearances everywhere. So this, if this thing articulates in a ditch or something, that the coilover's not gonna get rubbed and break a spring or rub through the tire, and we're not gonna get hot spots if they decide to put 20,000 pounds in the bed. So, not that the shark can haul 20,000 pounds in the bed, but if they decide to do that, it's not gonna get destroyed. So we're just covering our bases, and then we added our anti-seize, make sure everything's stored all good, no wheel spacers are coming off, nothing's breaking. All right, so we got our Gorilla Pro instant adhesive, and this is the in surface insensitive one. Um, it's just because we're using the surface insensitive because we're gluing metal to foam and these two normally don't like to bond, especially with the galvanizing and stuff like that on it. So we're gonna use this, glue these mats down and they won't ever move, ever. jazzed up because uh, the wheels and tires are now on the Gorilla Pro truck. They just got back from uh, getting powder coated, etc. And uh, we're getting close. I mean, we're getting real close to being done with this one. It's pretty freaking rad. Look at that orange, man. I know, it's got color now. Fibs even have a color matched mallet. And I know. A Gorilla Pro hat. <laughs> Look at you go, man. Look yeah. at you go. Ah, oh, this looks good. That's that works. Good. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks great. It looks really good. They did a killer job. I mean, that's super, super clean. Yeah, I like it way better than what we had on the uh, drawings with a whole bunch of those pieces. Right. Uh, in the orange, I think it was too much. Right. Hooks look good. We still got a big Gorilla Pro thing to go right here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That but looks wicked. We're pretty much done we're doing the horn blasters. Uh, we got the filler next done. And then we need to finalize what we're doing here on the back half. Did you go solid on the inside? Yeah, it's completely one orange wheel on the inside. Okay. Which I, I think I kind of dig it. I do dig that. I don't think I would have picked that, but I do like that. It's a whole lot easier. Yeah, that looks good. Do you think uh, we should color match these? We can. They just kind of stick out. I mean, I guess these do too, but eh, leave it for now. Okay. What do we got on the back? So yeah. these are our tables that we're in the process of making. We're not doing a leg that will adjust. We're doing this right into the side of the truck. So these come in, lock in, and then you put them right into here on the bottom of the truck, and they just lock in, you're done. That way they move oh, with the truck, they, they don't the move with the ground. And they're always level. Well, this looks like it's too big. Is this just a sample? That, no, that is, that's the actual in half. You'll have an inch gap for your lock on each side, and there's two of them. It looks too long, but it's not. Promise. You bet. Promise. I'm just saying. Because this has got to come this way. Uh, oh, right you're, you're hinging it on the outside? Yeah. But this kills having a vice. Yeah, I know. I talked to him about that. And uh, I think that's fine. 
Okay. We're just so, coming up with some heavier duty hinges for our hinges and then welding up. So then when we're done, there'll just be an H pattern in here with a flat top on top. That's what I was going to say. So we're going to get it flat? Yeah, we're going to get it all flat and then it'll have a flat piece of sheet metal on top and only have a spot for the legs to fold into. And those will all clip in like kind of like a folding table at the bottom of it. Quick, Can we also use in. some of this uh, rubber to quiet it? Yeah, it'll all be sound dead and it'll have a bunch of uh, support in between so you can stand on either side of it and they're not going to crush it. Okay, so. I did that. That's just way simpler design. And then we have to figure out their projector slash TV idea. I told them that I didn't think it was going to really work great. I said, the, the way that we're seeing it is way better than a television, but it's also, you got clouds or weather, you got dark, you got daylight, yeah, you got so many choices. And I told them, I said, this is a, a, a work in progress. So I said, let's get to the first one. Let's see what's happening. I think it's better if you've got a, a big iPad that you can show what you're showing on. And or worst TV, case- we can click in right there, that's it. Well, worst case scenario, you could have a TV that rides in the front cab because you're not sitting really a four person truck, even though it is. Right. It's two people marketing, what have you. And it could just slide in the back and stand on a, uh, an easel. Yeah, that's true too. And be done. So I told him, I said, let's not worry about that till everything else is finished because the jiggling and jostling of a, a F-350 uh, is just not it's great for right. television. And then setting that thing up, you got weather to contend with and what have you. Right. So you have a wind, windy day come in and rips the screen and then you're All that kind of crap. Water. So, all right. I dig it. I think that's a better idea. I was actually thinking about that. Can we could we angle it? Yeah, so these are just gonna come out, lock in, and you just slide into this, the, these pieces we'll have on the bottom, and then they'll just have a pin. I'm pretty sure I told you how to design that at one point in time. No, I think you told me you wanted legs. Yeah, I just didn't tell you where to put the legs. All right, kick ass, man. The orange right. looks good, that's just enough. So, it's time to call CJ over at Skins and uh, see what's going on. I gotta take this phone call, see you later. Thank God he liked it, because that was a lot of work just for that. Now we just gotta finalize getting it all put back together and then color matched and then sea decked and then maybe wash the truck, I think, when we're done with it. Cross our fingers. service truck. Ultimate service 
drop. So we're done? We're done. Killer, dude. We're done, done. I actually would like to have this for Gas Monkey. This is pretty rad. I know, but. I don't know. I like it. I love it. Everything's rad. No, it worked out great. We've got to deliver this to Gorilla Pro here in a um, couple of days. Uh, right. at Sturgis. So everything's 100% done. Done, done. Lift, wheels, tires, tires. fucking. So, there we stripped off all that. Lights, you name it. Everything. I just wrote checks. And uh, now we're done. So tell me what all we have because this was your kind of brainchild. All right, so I guess we'll start in the front. And uh, we went with our bodyguard bumper. So that took care of us on the bumper. And we went with Morimoto, four bangers in the front, the Morimoto headlights and uh, a light bar, a winch, that's the bumper. And then we ripped off all the stock suspension, did the whole any level lift, which is zero to 13. Yeah, those guys came out and uh, helped us with the installment, right? Yeah, that was perfect. They did an awesome job helping me with that. So, uh, and it's just super rad, it makes the truck, so. This is freaking nuts. I mean, I've seen it on the internet, but I haven't seen one in person. This is pretty crazy the way it works. Yeah, it's super crazy. I just like how you go down the road and you just drop it. So then we did our, 40 1550 Furies on our American Forces. And we did the Morimoto turn signals in the or the and the turn signals and the marker lights in the Got it. mirrors. Color match the mirrors. Um, and then Victor, you want to tell Richard about the interior? Cat skins? And just stick yes. it on leather? Yes. Yes. That was a very, very good job. Very challenging for me. because uh, yes, it was Honestly, I didn't know how it was going to start, and it came out definitely better than what I thought. This is an aspiring interior guy. Yeah. But you, you nailed a suede headliner with uh, a Starlight Roof. Yeah, Starlight, yeah, and uh, Optic, uh, Optic Fiber. Fiber. Yeah, Fiber Optic. Yeah. You and Kenny knocked out that sub box, right? Definitely, too. Oh, uh, yep. This is Those Gorilla Pro up. in the roof and, and in the, the floor. Box. Yeah, we nailed the interior, I think, for a work truck. That's Pretty fully loaded. I think I need to work out a deal where I can buy it back when they're done with it. Douglas did the bed, right? Yeah, Douglas truck body took us up with the bed. Um, they built it extremely fast and just did a killer job. So we got all of our cabinets and everything. I think your microphone's picking up. I know. So yeah, then we did the wet sounds with the microphones. So what's up, everybody? This is our Gorilla Pro truck, and it's the ultimate surface truck. We built this truck in uh, almost record days. It's a brand new F350 or any level lift with a ductless bed and then all kinds of crazy gasoline stuff. This is pretty cool. Hey, I remember this commercial when I was a kid with yeah, Mr. Magic Mike coming. Hey, man, we'll be back to we pick, pick you up later. Yeah, then we did all full wet sounds audio. That's playing all the microphone stuff. So we have four sixes in the rear. And then we have four eight-inch towers in the bed. And it's all over. orange like Gorilla Pro. Yeah, so those are all lit up with the RGB lighting. And then, yeah, we did four, six, no, we did 39 rock lights total throughout the whole truck. There's That's four, all the stuff underneath. Yeah, so we did four in the sub box and the rest was all underneath the truck. Victor and Kenny helped me out with these tables. We uh, mounted them down. Like well, they this. wanted a uh, way to demonstrate the product. Right, they wanted to be able to do their demos. So they'll play it, then these flip out. We're folding it over. Okay, I get it. Yeah, so then these slide in here. Slide them in there. Boom. Yep. Just like that. So now but, when they're uh, at an event, they can demonstrate the product. Obviously the truck's high, lower it down. <clears throat> Let's see yeah, what right. work service is. So this is perfect because um, they wanted an area where they could demonstrate the products, talk to the people, let them play with it like we did when right. we were over at the at the workbench. Uh, so this is literally workbench area. Jack right. around, it's perfect, uh, boxies, right? thread lockers, you know, all of that kind of stuff. That's rad. And it's clean. It doesn't clean. have to hit the ground. It doesn't have to do anything. And you can go up and down still with the truck. So I think we killed that design as well. We just covered all over face. Stereo, microphone, they can talk to people because this is a demonstration truck. Right. And they're going to be able to have uh, all the products in it. They're going to be able to do everything, anything they want to do. This is freaking wicked, man. Oh, and then we got onboard air thanks to horn blasters. What? That's really loud. We're drawing people's attention with this one. 
so it'll be on your iPad or your iPhone or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're way across the audience, way over here at another place, and bam! Oh, I love it. I love it. I got thrown out of an Autorama one time for that back in the 90s. That sounds like my type of fun. Oh, yeah, we got these light up, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, look at that. Bed. What? So we got their logos up there. Bird Street, the professional grade. What is in your toolbox? That's right. This would be, God, we might need to make us one of these. This is pretty rad. If we can find a truck. Exactly. That was the hard part, remember? Yeah. At the very beginning, I thought I was doing good because I finally found a truck and we got it here and it was white. Yep. And they were like, I thought we were going with black. And I was like. Yeah, and then I had to make a phone call to Owen and <laughs> another truck. Yeah. But uh, super cool, man. Your team did a great job. Let's get it up to Sturgis. And, um, you know, once we get there and park it, we can have some fun, have a couple of cold beers. You Look know, at some see the sides. Hey, guys, man. Hi, Your dude. team did good. Good guys. Probably. All right. Killer. Um, let's get it up to Sturgis. When are you leaving? A couple hours? Yeah, a couple hours. All right. I'll see you there. Woo! What's up? You thought it was a monkey, but it's actually a gorilla, Gorilla Pro. So when Gorilla Pro reached out to Gas Monkey Garage and asked us to build the ultimate service truck, I said, okay, we can do that, but we're gonna have to do it our way. Get you some of this. That's the Gorilla Pro service, ultimate service vehicle. And uh, we're gonna be in Sturgis, get your rear there. Get on your bike, get in your truck, get to Sturgis. I'm gonna be there, it's gonna be fun.